Okay, so I just picked up a traffic light not that long ago at a farmer's market. Uh, hung it up in the garage, have it wired up to a uh, switch box. Um, I have this traffic light functional. Uh, I'll give you a quick demonstration on how it works. What I'm going to do now is hop in the, uh, in the truck. And we'll go ahead and pull it into the uh, garage. Pulling it in. Getting close. Light turns yellow. Where we need to park, it's red. I guess I could have hung a wiffle ball, but I thought that would have been cooler. And you wait a few seconds, and then the uh, light automatically goes out. I also uh, made a custom switch box on this. I'll let you turn the uh, lights on and off as you want. Uh, here's the switch box. Made a little uh, custom thing that says Mark's Traffic Control. Uh, the main power for the uh, stoplight that allows uh, the lights to light. Um, and it also controls the power for the sensor. As you can see, that LED went off. Um, you can also turn the sensor completely off uh, if you just don't want that to be lighting up when you're going in the garage. And you can also individually turn the lights on and off, as you see. And then the indicators are on there. And so basically, you can see that they're all three are lit on my switch box, which means all three are lit on the uh, stoplight. So. There you have it. Basically what I used is you can buy this product at a, a Home Depot or online. I think it's called a Park Zone. And uh, that has a uh, proximity sensor that's mounted down low. So I used that to detect it. And then I'm using the internals of this wired up with some uh, solid state relays. And a couple of switches in here obviously. <clears throat> as well as a... Uh, 5 volt power supply because this thing's supposed to take batteries and I'm not going to be in here every other month or whatever putting batteries in so uh, I use the power supply to uh, power the bat the um, power supply is to power this rather than use batteries it also controls the uh, solid state relays um, pretty decent setup uh, you can buy these things for like 20 bucks at Home Depot and the mod is pretty straightforward to uh, to wire it up like that I know some guys use PLCs or like computers and have you know several different sensors mounted in their garage so that it works but uh, I thought this was a cheap inexpensive way to uh, get that traffic light functional and have it work pretty well so that's it that's the latest project